guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video on how to block and unblock wireless devices that you have connected via Ubiquity access points using Home Assistant. It's kind of a long title, uh, trying to come up with an easier way to say it and couldn't really come up with one so uh, that's you know what I came up with. Anyways, I wanted to be able to show you how you can utilize your Ubiquity access points uh, mainly administered by a Unify controller uh, to be able to block and unblock them using just scripts in Home Assistant. Obviously you don't have to use scripts, you can do automations or anything you want with it. Uh, this is just a way that you can use Home Assistant to uh, block and unblock devices. So let's go ahead and go over everything that we're going to cover in this video. For starters, uh, we're going to make sure our system is up to date. Next, we will be installing PHP, which is what we're going to use to run our uh, scripts. Third, we will be downloading and configuring Unify API Browser. Not really using the Unify API Browser all that much, but I'm using some of the uh, coding that they uh, use to write Unify API Browser. Then after that, we're going to write a block and an unblock script that we'll use in Home Assistant. Fifth, we will be adding the shell commands that point to those block and unblock scripts. Uh, after that, we will then uh, add test scripts into Home Assistant configuration that we can use to uh, initiate those shell commands. And then, of course, lastly, we're going to test everything out and show you what that looks like. So let's get started. As always, I like to start my videos by doing updates. So we're going to do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And of course, I will fast forward through that so we're not waiting around for that to finish. All right, now that we got our updates out of the way, we are going to install PHP. sudo apt-get install php 7.0. And of course, I'll uh, fast forward through all this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now we are ready to download and configure the Unify API browser. So we do that using git. And I'll, of course I'll put all this in the description so you can copy and paste it. But we're going to do a uh, sudo git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash mylivingweb slash unify-api-browser2.git and I just did that into the home directory um, of my username so you can do it of course wherever you want to put it doesn't really matter once we do that um, we need to uh, move into that directory and then we are going to uh, edit the configuration file. So there should be a template one in there, config.template.php. So we're just going to rename that or copy that to uh, be config.php and then we will edit it. So editing that config.php file, you'll see there is a spot uh, as you scroll down a little bit, a place for username, password, um, the path the URL path to your uh, uh, Unify controller and then of course what version you're running. So here I'm going to uh, put in my username and password and the path and that should be all I have to do in the uh, config.php file. So once I get all that in there we can go ahead and save it. And 
And now we are ready to uh, create our block and unblock scripts. So I'm just going to create a couple of new files in here. One of them is going to be uh, one of them is going to be block underscore mac dot php. You obviously can call it whatever you want. Uh, and I'll have this code in the description so you can copy and paste it in there. Uh, basically, I just need to edit a couple of lines in here. Uh, the first one will be uh, the path to my config.php file. Uh, the second one that I have to add will be the MAC address of the device I'm trying to block. Type that in there. And then, of course, this last spot will be the path to the class.unify.php file. And by default, it should be in the PHP API directory, which is inside that unify. API browser 2 directory. So once you add all that in there, then um, that is the end of the uh, block script. Now let's go ahead and create one for unblock as well. Unblock underscore mac.php. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. I'm going to add in the path for the config.php file. Uh, then, I'll, of course, I'm going to add in the MAC address of the device that I want to unblock. And then, of course, the last part will be just the path to that uh, class.unify.php file. Now, once uh, I get all those added in there, uh, then we can go ahead and, of course, save it. All right, so we now have our unblock and block scripts created, and we're ready to uh, edit our HA config and uh, add in these shell commands. So I store all my shell commands in a uh, shell commands.yaml file. So of course I'm going to edit that doing a sudo vi shell underscore command.yaml. And we'll just add a couple of lines down here at the bottom. Uh, one for block underscore Mac. And it'll just be the uh, script that we're gonna run that we just created. So uh, that script of course is uh, PHP and then the path to that script. underscore mac.php and then we'll add another one for unblock underscore mac again it's the same thing it'll be php and then the path to that file uh, unify dash api dash browser 2 slash unblock underscore mac.php all right, and uh, we can go ahead and save that.
Now we are ready to create a couple of test scripts so that we can test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my uh, test uh, scripts.yaml file that I have where I store all my test scripts. And I will create a couple of entries here. Again, we're just going to call it uh, block underscore Mac. You can give it whatever name you want. And again, I'll put all this in the description as I always do so you can copy and paste it and play around with it. Uh, my alias, I'm just going to say block Mac address. the service will be the one that we uh, just set up which is that shell command so it'll be um, it'll be shell underscore command dot block underscore Mac and we'll create another one for unblock underscore Mac as well I'm just going to call it unblock Mac address. And of course, again, the service will be the shell command. So it'll be shell underscore command dot unblock underscore Mac. All right, we can go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and restart Home Assistant for our change to take effect. All right, so now we are ready to see this in action. Uh, so, of course, on the left here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ping the IP address of this machine that I'm talking about blocking and unblocking. So, I got a ping going here. And then, of course, as you can see, here's the two scripts here on the right. I got block MAC address and unblock. So, I'm going to click on block MAC address. And as you can see there on the left, we've already, uh, uh, you know, we're no longer getting ping responses. So let's go ahead and click our unblock MAC address. Give it a second. And of course, there it is. It's back online again and now responding to ping. So that is uh, the end of this video. Again, uh, there's a lot to it, but uh, hopefully uh, for those that actually have a Unify controller and Ubiquity access points, uh, this might help you uh, if you want to set up something like this on your network. Uh, let's go ahead and run down everything that we covered in this video. So for starters, of course, we made sure our system was up to date. Um, then next, we, of course, installed PHP, which we needed to be able to run the scripts. Uh, third, we uh, downloaded and configured the Unify API browser, which is what we kind of use to uh, run our scripts. Uh, fourth, we um, created some block and unblock PHP scripts that we uh, used specifically for the MAC addresses we wanted to block. Uh, then we added those uh, shell commands into our HA configuration. So then we created some test scripts that would initiate those shell commands for us. And of course, lastly, uh, we saw what that looked like in action. So again, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, of course, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And of course, as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out here, uh, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.